Okay, this is going to be a 10 millimeter hollow point test, just ammo test. I started doing this video right after my 9 millimeter one, but it just, nothing was working right. So I'm just going to redo everything. And I'm only going to be using my Smith & Wesson 1006. I had my Glock 40, the G40. And I was just doing this video with the world's cheapest gun. And then it got part of, <laughs> part of a bullet came back, hit me in the finger there, which is very fun. So if you didn't see that video, whichever one comes out first, I don't know. So what we're going to be doing is the same test in 9mm, but I got a bunch of different hollow points and full metal jackets and extreme penetrator, I do believe. And these I bought yesterday at my hardware store with the world's cheapest gun for $95. And they had these there for $20 a box, which is really good for 10mm hollow points. It's made by PMC, which... I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I like PMC, but for like self defense, I ever do carry because they're 170 grain going at 1200 feet a second. I'm sorry, guys. They're uh, 70, 170 grain jack of the hollow point at 1200 feet a second compared to like the Underwood. Let's see if there's something to compare it to. Yeah, that's a, this is, a, yeah. So this is 165 grain. And it's going 1400 feet a second. First video I had my chronograph up and it would just not work. So that's only five grain difference, but 200 feet a second difference. And these actually do shoot about that. That's a big change here. Change. Well, here's the penetrators 140 grain, 1500 feet a second. And what are these? Oh, these are, the, yeah, these are 220 grain. Sorry. 220 grain going 1200 feet a second. And I even have real light hollow points man 140 grain i didn't bring them because i use them for my glock and stuff they're man 15 1600 feet a second they're pretty light i think so or the heavier ones i can't remember maybe i maybe these are the light ones i think they are yeah these are the light ones i have some other heavier ones i think they're like i should have brought them because they're heavier but they still go faster than that. Anyway, then I got the six hour to 180 grain. And we'll just do kind of like the same test. I got, instead of, I do have a water jug up there. And then I got a level 3A plate behind there. So let's get set up. I'm not sure what happened. Like, because I actually shot one before. And I it shot to the left. Like extremely hard. I'm like, is that me that pulled it that hard? I was like, there's no way. I thought, I was like, ah, it's just me. It, I shot that time, same thing, to the left, like insane amount, and we're close. So let's try another one. I'm going to aim to the right of here. I don't know. That one kind of seemed right where I was aiming that time. Maybe it was just me? I don't know. Okay, no, it was either the ammo or the gun. Because I was aiming over here and hit dead center. So... Okay, it only went through three two by fours and it's stuck in there. So, so far, I am not liking that ammo at all. We'll see if the other ones, part of the jacket, we'll see if the other ones pull to the left that bad. All right, let's try some. Okay, next up, we got the Underwood 165 grain going 1400 feet a second. Yeah, I'm gonna aim right in the center, see how this one shoots. That one seemed to shoot a lot better. Let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that was a dead center hit. Pretty much right where the other one hit, unfortunately. See, yeah, them PMCs, man. Wow. Actually, I see the slug right here. One of them. That might be the PMC. It's hard to say. Is that one still hot? Yeah, it should be pretty warm. I think that is it. Oh, right here's one. Here's one of them. I'd say it's probably the PMC. And that's the Underwood since she's got... Yeah, we'll, we'll get that to Underwood. That one's hot. This one's colder, so... Yeah, I can't... It went about through the same, really. But you can tell. Like, this one didn't even expand that much. Underwood completely... Blip, dude, these PMCs suck. So... Yeah, don't buy them. I mean, they're good just to... 
I wouldn't even say they're good to practice because they shoot like shit. <laughs> Glad I only bought a couple boxes. So. Okay, next up we got the Underwood 220 grain hard cast. Going 1,200 feet a second. Let's see how this bad mamma jamma does. I got, I think the same up there. Oh yeah, seemed to hit a little bit low, but pretty good, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was a good shot, hit a little bit low. But I noticed really heavy bullets out of anything, they seem to shoot low, obviously, but that one I was aiming about here and hit down there. But it went through, had some power, but it's stuck in the fourth one. That'd be a good one to save. I keep forgetting to bring my fucking knife up with me. I always have a knife on me, except when I go shooting. So, I wanted to try Extreme Penetrator before I destroyed all the wood. I kind of did it backwards, so I thought it would be more impressive results. So, let's try Extreme Penetrator. Okay, next up we got the Underwood Extreme Penetrator. 140 grain, 1500 feet a second. Solid copper. Right, let's see. Okay, we got something really weird going on. Them bullets, that was the second shot too. I was like, same thing. I was like, there's no way. I pulled it. It's shooting to the left extremely hard. Uh, just like the PMC was. So I'm gonna hold high and right. But I mean, being this close, it's really weird. That some shoot right where I aim. That's why you wanna get to the ammo and stick with it. We'll try this some of the regular ones, see how they shoot. better okay shit is so shot up i have no idea i think it's stuck in that board the previous video i was working on i think it's stuck in four it didn't really penetrate much more <laughs> stuck in four <laughs> ah, rhymes we'll just try a regular ball ammo through this right here all right so we just got regular six hour ammo here 180 grain i'm gonna try just a dinger from right here <laughs> just a little bit low i need to practice with this guy i haven't shot it so long it hit the plate. man i cannot break that two liter good thing we got the world's cheapest shotgun here okay yeah this two liter is not meant to be man like i actually got a pretty centered hit but somehow some way like it just missed the two liter man i i that one hit to the left there also like there it is maybe it's the gun shooting to the left I, I haven't shot that gun in such a long time i should have brought my glock up anyway let's set these up and just see if we can hit them okay i just put just two of these pmc bronze i'm gonna try a dinger from here so i did hit left it smacked it hard let's go for that fucking two liter there we go i was holding high into the right so they do work I'm last captain, so let's just set him up for the world's cheapest shotgun. Has to be it. Okay, this is the world's cheapest gun. We got the captain up there. And yeah, we're gonna be fighting alcoholism here in three, two, one. I think the one survived. Did it did it though? We'll finish her off. Dude, that's some tough captain. That's that Captain 100, that's what it is. I think he's still kind of alive. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Wasn't the best video for sure. <laughs> I fucking tried, I guess.